Zabi calling. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while. 761-8201. It's so hot here, Joe, you can, you can hardly live. It really is hot here. And I'm working on my book. And I tell you, it's so far ahead of anything I've ever thought, thought or felt in my life. It, it's just, I can't believe what I sit down and write. It just comes. Well, I, I hope your little girl is okay. And I wish I could come to town soon. And if I did, I want to live where I get up, get up in the morning and get on a bus and go to the beach. Because I'm afraid to even leave my car on the beach. But my car is not loaded up like it used to be. It's nice and clean and orderly and has a good bed in it and some food and everything. Well, how are you getting along, Joe? I wish you could talk. Anyway, I know you must get impatient at times, but don't forget, I'm twice as old as you are, and I got over being impatient. I've reached a point where I have something great and beautiful to say to the youth of this planet, and it's as hard as this, and it's hard to sit there and write, but I know that I'm giving the world my best. I'd like to mention a few little ideas I have, but I'm almost afraid to over the phone. But they are so original and beautiful and wonderful. Now I want to tell you, in the past 25 years, I'd say, maybe 20 years, three times on the cover of Newsweek magazine, the same picture has appeared. It's four or five beautiful young college boys and girls with books, and they're dressed clean, and they're not uh, on dope, and games and all that. And the word down below says, the youth of America searching for a cause to believe in. Well, that's fine. And uh, their, uh, their champion guy is a guy named Joseph Campbell. And he's a wonderful writer, and he has great ideas. But even right now, he says that there's so many changes going on in the world it's hard for him to write anything on, but not with me, Joe. My little head just buzzes with great new ideas every day. Now, what I would say to those guys, I, am, I plan to write to Newsweek magazine and tell that I'm a famous man all over the world. I wrote a song, favorite song of two presidents and everything. And that's my reason for living, is to help the youth of this planet. And would they give me written permission to put that picture that in my book? And and this Joseph Campbell, he said that changes are so rapid we can't keep up with them. And he said it's the poets that we must, that we need now to inspire us. And that's where I come in. And the first thing I would say to the youth of America is, and I have I could raise enough money to put it on a billboard around town now. It would say, the earth is my altar, the sky is my dome, the mind is my garden, and the heart is my home. And I'm always at home. Yeah, I'm always at home. Why? Because when Albert Einstein split that atom, the three, the four dimensional physical universe crumbled and dissolved beneath our feet, and we were carried out to the deep, deep circular spherical cyclic flow of the marvelous electromagnetic sea of the cosmos. We're not earthly beings anymore. We're cosmic beings. And I tell you, that's the cause that the youth is waiting for. Someone who is inspired, who can, let's say, go this direction, you know? A guy told me not long ago, he said, Avi, you're a frontiers man. You're like Buffalo Bill. And Bill Cody, you're way ahead of the masters, you know? And you know that, and I know that, see? And you're right behind me, Joe. So don't get impatient. Stick with it. And don't sow seeds in the wrong direction. Just hang on and do your best to hang on, because it won't be long. We'll be making some money. I know those guys are going to... I, I was talking to my real estate friend this morning, and he said, Abby, you are so fresh, you're so far ahead of what we're talking about. He said, don't give up, stick with your book. And I want to tell you, Joe, I have to work for a couple of hours, then I have to have a little snack, then I have to lay down and sleep a couple of hours, then I can work up and go again. 
And that's my life right now, see? So don't be impatient. Just hang on and do the best you can with your music and hold on to these great ideas, you know? Like I said in my book, yes, the gods of the earth are many, but the god of the sky is one, if any. Because we've outgrown the ideas of God. Look at the people all over the world who believe in God. They fight each other and they kill each other and they hate each other. And they teach their children to hate each other. So we don't have to be afraid to let those stupid old ideas go. We're of a new age, a new era, and a new world. And jo remember, Joe, you're not an old man like I am. You're young, and you're strong, and you're beautiful, and you're very gifted in talent. And you know how to work the computer, and you're a great engineer. So we got a lot to hang on for, okay? I wish we could talk a little, but I know you're out. But anyway, I'm, uh, I'm going to sit down and write a couple of hours now. That's the way I do. And then I'm very tired. Then I take a little snack, and I lay down, and I sleep a couple hours. Then I get up, and I'm on fire again. Well, anyway, and one thing I want to tell you, I know your mother is wonderful and she loves you and you love, but you mustn't give her these ideas because they'll be all over the world before my book comes out. I hope you believe me. You see, your mother, but she's not of our world. She might be a little bit of it, yeah, but we're, we're a, I went to a photographer yesterday and he uh, developed some pictures for me and I was talking to him five minutes, and his eyes got big. He said, you know, uh, what do you do? What's your name? He said, I never in my life saw a guy like you. What do you do? And he said, I'd quit my job right now if I could go with you. That's how anxious he was to find something new in life. Now, <clears throat> if you could see an apartment, if you're driving around close to the beach, and, and get the phone number and get the price, I would come to town because I'm burning up here. I need to get in that cold water in the ocean. So give me a hand and please be patient, Joe. And forget, we are brotherly loves and we gotta hang on and work hard together because who's waiting for us? All these stupid kids that are led into the gangs. God, a kid went to Las Vegas last week and they beat him to death on the street. A boy here from Indio. I don't know what to, the world, the youth don't know what else to do. Well, remember, Joe, I really love you, and I have faith in you. And so hang on, brother. So long. <laughs>